Western Australia Iron Ore, WAO, is an integrated system of four processing hubs and five mines connected by more than 1,000 kilometres of rail, infrastructure and port facilities in the Pilbara region of northern Western Australia. Every 24 hours, trucks are dumped over 8,000 times. 5,700 wagons are filled with iron ore and railed across 1,330 kilometres of track. And vessels are loaded with enough iron ore to fill 65 Olympic swimming pools, resulting in approximately 280 million tonnes of iron ore being moved from pit to port in one year. It may surprise you to learn that much of this integrated system isn't controlled in the Pilbara. It's controlled right here in Perth at the Integrated Remote Operations Centre, or as we call it, IROC. Integrated remote operations have disrupted traditional mining operating models with automation, unlocking opportunities to improve the safety, sustainability, efficiency and performance of mining whilst connecting the whole supply chain from pit to port. IROC itself is a team within IPRO, WAO's integrated production and remote operations, a central team within BHP that is accountable for integrating, optimising operating and improving WAO operations. Our purpose is to drive value across the supply chain by looking at our operations from a whole of business lens, equipped with the increased operations visibility that a highly automated end-to-end -end integrated supply chain provides. We focus on safely and sustainably increasing WAO's operational performance, coordinating plans and responding with the optimal solutions faster than ever before. Built in 2012, IROC is a world-class control centre, providing a real-time view of the WAO network and supply chain. Here at Deviation Management, our job is to maximise inflow tonnes every day by optimising product flow, buffers, constraints and quality. We schedule movement of products from the mine stockyards, along the rail network, through the port and onto ships. The team continually reassess the inflow and outflow systems, coordinating the response to unplanned changes to maximise our inflow tonnes. Welcome to the start of the supply chain. Here we're in charge of drilling production blast holes across all six way of mine sites <laughs> by using our fleet of remotely operated drill rigs. These production blast holes are drilled ready to be loaded with explosives so the iron ore can be broken up ready for the next stage in the supply chain, which is to dig it out. Once drilling and blasting is complete, mine control oversees all the action on site. Ore and waste is moved from pit to crushers and stockpiles by conventional and autonomous trucks. Currently three of our six sites utilise autonomous trucks and three conventional. Mine controllers use a state-of-the-art fleet management system to ensure that material movement is optimised and our safety tech officers help keep truck drivers safe through our driver safety system which uses driver eye tracking technology to monitor fatigue. With one controller and one builder per site, the Mine Control AHS team, which stands for Autonomous Haulage Systems, is solely focused on managing the efficiency and safety of WAO's automated fleet management system. The AHS team build and maintain the virtual mine for trucks and other mobile equipment to operate safely in. All from the pit is crushed into lump or fines product through the crushing plants. The plant control team has one controller per plant and it's their responsibility to manage the efficiency and safety of the fixed plant at every WAO site. Our controllers manage alarms and automated feed systems as well as the automated train loadouts. Once the ore leaves our mines, rail control manages the efficiency and safety of WAO's trains across our vast rail network system that delivers the ore to the port car dumpers. 5,700 wagons are filled with iron ore and railed across 1,330 kilometres of track every 24 hours. Once the loaded trains arrive at Port Hedland, ore is dumped into one of five car dumpers. We have two car dumpers at Finnegan Island and three at Nelson Point. Port controllers manage the efficiency and safety of fixed plan equipment from car dumpers to shiploaders, with eight shiploaders across eight berths. Purpose built and world class, the IROC facility makes meticulous use of ergonomics and flexible workspaces, providing maximum safety, productivity, and comfort for all teams. Features include raised ceiling height to create a sense of space and light, low glare lighting and blinds, convective cooling for thermal comfort, a tuned acoustic environment, base build IROC chiller provides 24 7 operation, base build backup generators an uninterrupted power supply system and fully redundant electrical distribution. Technology issues on the IROC floor are supported by 24-7 TROC presence. IROC is supported by a highly reliable, robust system architecture 
with redundancy built in for operational continuity, including a dedicated network with dual fibre running down coastal and inland routes and satellite backup links to mines. There is also a backup control facility that's an entire backup centre should an unexpected outage occur. Site located control rooms with trained controllers should control need to be handed back to site and internal and external server hosting facilities. One of the most amazing things about IROC is our great culture. IROC reflects a diverse team that connects our people and integrates our operations. IROC continues to increase the value it provides BHP through improved safety and sustainability, better access to skilled labor, better supply chain decisions, higher process standardization, increased operational performance, and finally, as a platform for automation. IROC is poised to, to enable exponential increase in automation across our operations, driving future improvements in safety, sustainability, efficiency, and performance. Empowering BHP Way operations to remain strong and competitive in the global market for decades to come.